Hey, welcome to another video in the Emacs Goody series. Today we're going to talk about repeat mode, which is a handy little way of repeating commands, which is pretty nice. And there's not much configuration to do because it works just pretty much straight out of the box and easy to use. All right, let's go to Emacs and let's open up my configuration and we are going to go into repeat. So yes. So repeat mode, as you can see, allows you repeating via control X Z. And after you do control X Z, if you keep on pressing Z, it will repeat the last, uh, the, the command you just did. For example, if I do control N for next line, and let's say for whatever reason, I'm getting tired of holding the control N, I can just do control X and then Z, and it'll move on to the next line. Now I can keep pressing C and it'll keep doing it, repeating it as many times, which is pretty cool. So that's one way. So control XZ, I believe, is already bound by default. You don't even have to configure repeat mode. It's just already there. But if you want more, a little extra feature, for example, let me split the window in half. Uh, there we go. So uh, let me, OK, so if I use repeat mode, when I have it turned on, if I do control XO to go to other window, you'll pay attention to the mini buffer what happens. So I press control XO. And then says on the bottom, repeat with O. So I just have to keep pressing O, the last key binding, and it will keep on doing it, which is pretty awesome. So you, in order to do that, you need to repeat. You need to enable repeat mode. Otherwise, just doing Control X Z will do whatever you want it to do, the last command. So both of these are pretty handy. I like repeat. I like turning on repeat mode because it just rem reminds me that hey, if you just keep pressing the last command, it will work, which is pretty awesome. For example. Um, let me give you another one. Uh, let me turn off golden ratio mode. Golden ratio is just something that how it manages the windows for me. Um, but if I have it enabled while I'm trying to resize the windows, it will not let me. But if I have it, I turned it off now, so I should be able to do something like uh, this. So now I'm growing the window by pressing, oops, press the wrong key binding. So if I do this, if I keep pressing the bracket, open bracket, it will just keep growing. So for example, and then if I close it, boom. So that's the other thing about repeat mode. If there's other keys that can be repeated in the same key map, it'll show you the list of keys. For example, in the mini buffer, oops, as you just saw, let me just pop it up again. As you just saw, there's the, I believe the caret, that's what it's called, the open and close bracket, and then the letter B for victory. With command, with control XC, it'll only repeat the last command, and it won't show you this cool little list of other letters that you can press that are within the same key map. So that's pretty cool. Now, let me go on with the rest of the presentation. So yes, I have it configured here. I have it, so turn on to after Emacs starts up. I have some custom functions. Repeat to dangerous, this is the default value. I'm just pushing it here because it is a nice, it might be something that you might want to configure. So saying, do never repeat this command no matter what so kill this buffer might be something might be deemed dangerous because you might kill a lot of files that you don't want to but yeah that's one way of configuring any other command so repeat exit timeout is just say hey after five seconds if i don't do anything that that says repeat the command just exit out of that mode and just if i press let's say i'm doing control xz if i don't press something for six seconds for six seconds if i press c again it will just enter the letter z and won't repeat so that's just something for me i find five seconds is a good amount because after five seconds i usually repeat a command within two or three seconds at the latest so five seconds is a nice little buffer that says hey uh probably i'm probably not trying to repeat the last letter i'm probably trying to input it but yeah so let's go into the file repeat mode oh what ah oh, there we go okay Convenient way to repeat the previous command. Yeah, that's a better way. <laughs> but yeah, you can read the commentary, but essentially it explains the same thing I just said. So we're not going to go too much into it. And let me go into the variables that we have. So like I said, we have the two dangerous on final keystroke. None of these really stood out to me. The only ones that stood out was just two dangerous, exit key and exit timeout. Exit key is just another way to exit the command map for example right here you can set it to return like uh, if you're doing if you're repeating I search exit if you just press return it will it will no longer keep repeating commands even if it hasn't hit the exit terminal uh, exit timeout interval so yeah that's pretty handy but yeah that's pretty small of the customization sections for functions that are repeatable it's mainly just the uh, 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's mainly just this one, the repeat function that takes care of it, takes care of everything. But yeah, this is a pretty short demo on the repeat functionality that is built into Emacs. It's pretty handy. Let me know if you end up using it or if there's something else that's similar. Curious to know. But yeah, that is it. Take care.